One of the most important maintenance things that you can do on your bike as a bike owner is to keep your tires inflated to the correct pressure. The first thing you need to know is that bicycles in the United States have two different kinds of valves, a Presta valve and a Schrader valve. The wheel I'm holding has a Presta valve. Let me show you how that works. First, you take the valve cap off, and then you loosen up the little screw at the end, and that enables you to be able to put air into the tire. This wheel has a Schrader valve. It's very similar to the one on your car tire. Now that we know about the different types of valves, let's talk about how to get air into your tire. Here are some examples of some typical bicycle pumps. If your pump was manufactured within the last 10 years, there's a good chance that it'll be able to pump either valve. So let's take a look now on how to use your pump on each valve type. Let's start with the pump head. This one has two different openings. The small one for the Presta valve and the larger one for the Schrader valve. You should familiarize yourself with the pump that you have so that you'll be sure to use it the right way. Let's start with this Presta valve. First, you'll need to unscrew the very end of the valve in order to let the air in. The next step is to place the pump head firmly on the valve and then lock it in place with this lever and then you're ready to pump. Pump the tire until you've reached your desired pressure. Once done, take the pump head off of the valve. And then you'll need to close the valve back up so that the air can't escape. Now you're ready to go. Let's try the Schrader valve. There's nothing to unscrew at the end of this valve, but there is a little pin inside of the pump head that you'll need to make connections, so you'll need to hear that hissing sound or the air won't go in. Then you lock it in place and you pump up your tire to the desired amount of pressure. When you've reached your desired pressure, unlock the pump head, take it off the valve, and now you're ready to ride. Just a couple more notes. Every tire has the pressure range stamped into the sidewall of the tire, and it shows the minimum and maximum tire pressure for each one. The next thing I want to show you is the Presta valve adapter. If you have a Presta valve on your bike and you don't have a compatible pump, you can utilize this in order to put air in your tire. First, you'll need to unscrew the end of the valve like you did the last time. Take the valve adapter and screw that right onto the end of the valve. So that's all there is to it. I hope you found this informative. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at catb at cyclecraft.com. That's cat with a C. See you next time.